hello friends in this video i'll show you uh, many people facing problem and getting error to uploading sketch uploading code on this microcontroller this mm -hmm. is 80 mega 328p light is low here so i cannot properly one second can yes you can see now the number 80 mega 328 sorry this is 80 mega 8a okay and this is it is uh, handcrafted arduino uno and this is uh, the microcontroller which is 80 mega 328p so if you are one of them who are facing problem uploading code through this usb to ttl this is pl2303 and uh, i recently made a new one this is a ic base ttl serial converter this ic is belongs to the arduino nano this is ch340g so i made a custom usb to ttl needed a 20 megahertz crystal you can see the circuit diagram like that okay so i made it for myself and uh, when I try to upload a sketch on this 80 mega 328p, I got error. The error is, I think uh, you also facing same error that it is infinity uploading in loop. And after three to five minutes, got error. Error 10 or something, code 10 or. So I thought the that there is some problem or there is some i thought that this chip is duplicate so it is not working on rxtx option and i tried already uh, already that uh, the others video showing that press the reset button when the upload uploading is appear i did same but that does not work and in this PL2303 this TTL you got only these pins okay 3 volt TX RX GND and 5 volt there is no DTR pin so DTR pin is is uh, a auto process to upload this is auto process if you if you don't use that so you need to reset while the uploading appears same time okay because this chip is high but when it's high it is not access give the access to this TTL so you need to turn off and on quickly when uploading and if you use the DTR connection with the reset pin so it automatically reset this IC that means off on and quickly and started upload and done so i got error every time because i tried wrong method if you are trying that same method you got error in this case in this ic at mega 8a and at mega 328p this ic is belongs to adreno no but while you use uploading code by adreno nano or you know through ISP, ISP pinout, you can easily do that with no errors. You have to just connect six pin, which is D10, D11, D12, D13, and VCC, GND. This six pin. Okay, take a jumper wire and connect. Uh, I'll I saw that uh, previous video. You can see that. So it is easy but while i am using this or this 
this module but it stuck on uploading so I figured out what is the problem so here you can see I added a new pin it comes from the from a capacitor okay. I can sketch here you will understand this is the IC this IC okay here is the pin 1 that is TX I think and pin 2 that is DTR okay I'll show you in this you can see here is the pin 1 which is TXD and pin 2 is DTRN okay so what you have to do that the DTR pin you add a capacitor with DTR and it goes to the reset of this atmega IC the capacitor value you can choose 10 microfarad or 1 microfarad anything it work or you can choose ceramic capacitor 0.1 or 100 n so it will auto reset your IC and it will automatically upload code this but before that you know that those microcontrollers comes blank with no bootloader you have to upload bootloader and I did mistake with ISP when I uploaded bootloader first time I did some okay, see here you can see here properly when I select tools okay I go on the tools and the board this is common this is by default it will appear on your Arduino ID and it here can select Arduino Uno Arduino Uno board from here and after that you can select the port com port and you can select Arduino as ISP I showed in a previous video you can see that and just burn bootloader and it will burn your bootloader on that mega IC and after that you can just upload using programmer it is easy but while you using the TTL or USB serial converter you need a board that is mini core this and it's it's has this IC's of sense so you need this and after selecting this leave that by default if you are using a crystal or you are not using then select internal 8 megahertz or you are using 16 megahertz external then select 8, uh, 16 megahertz and uh, leave what it is select the port select the programmer first time as Arduino as ISP because first time while you are uploading your bootloader on the IC on the microcontroller you have to select this and after that run bootloader and while you do that here in the status option you, you see many compiled and some red lines and lastly you can see the done and thank you here you can see the error because I am not connected here uh, right now so with a with a serial converter I'll show you how now here I did all the jumpers same mm, you can go to the previous video and see how it how you have to do this yeah. it is same like 80 mega 328p and this is 80 mega 
eight okay one ten k register here sorry I okay ten k register reset to the VCC and a crystal the pin nine and ten and the set pin is goes to Arduino pin 10 and here you can see the pinouts okay D10 goes to reset D11 goes to pin 17 of the IC D12 goes to pin 18 and D13 goes to pin 19 of the IC and I connected a LED which is D13 and pin 19 and GND you can see the LED so first of all we upload bootloader the mini core bootloader on this IC by Arduino ISP here is the cable I'm connecting the cable so I connected the cable ok Search the Arduino ISP program. Select your Arduino Nano I'm using for ISP. So I'm selecting the Arduino Nano, and this is at at Mega old bootloader. Selected the COM port is six port. Programmer is Arduino as ISP. This option. And open the bootloader. See error or success. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. First of all, we have to upload upload this directly. So just upload it to the Arduino. It is done uploading. And then select a program blink program okay i just selected blink program and now you have to upload the bootloader so select the mini core and at mega 8 okay i'm trying first time with this i see i tried with the at mega 328 so i'm trying this first time live okay select here the option Arduino as isp mini course okay and upload the one the bootloader so i'm burning the bootloader see what happened it is showing showing what is done thank you the big message don't need that now here you can see the LED is blinking I don't know why but it is ready to ready to go with this TTL okay so I'll connect with this CH 340G you can see the circuit diagram here so I'll connect with like this okay here is the RX RX goes to TX that mean this IC pin number 3 and the TX TX will goes to pin number 2 and here is the DTR pin which is connected a nanofarad capacitor, capacitor 10 nanofarad okay use ceramic capacitor and this connected to the reset pin that means pin number 1 and connect the VCC and GND with this TTL okay this is simple connection and I connected all the pins 
the red one is VCC and the brown is GND white is TX gray is RX and this is uh, orange is DTR pin which goes to VCC and GND brown and red ok and here is white is goes to the pin 2 black is goes to the pin 3 and orange is pin 1 sorry here ok make sure the connection is properly done and just connect with the usb ok and take care everything ok looks like ok now disconnect connect and this usb connect uh, connect connecting ok it is connected it is connected and the light is blinking i think the bootloader has some sketches also that uploaded and makes the led blink so, so now we'll see if it works or not the blink program and this ok so what we'll do what we'll do first go to the board select the board at mega 8 ok and select the com port is com 6 it detects also already leave what it is don't need and now just upload the code here is showing the burn bootloader down ok last time we did the bootload and this time we are uploading the blink program so directly click on upload it is compiling sketch and it is showing uploading and it is done uploading and you can see the LED is blinking and here is the details that is compiled details that is this sketch is 54 byte 11 percent of the program space means 7680 byte is the total space of the 80 mega 8a it it has some 20 or uh, 320 or some bytes has bootloader space and total it's 8 kilobyte is total memory and it occupied 11 percent of memory in this space so it is done it is done uploaded and it works with same this ttl just connect a extra point showed same pl2303 this pin number 2 and connect a capacitor you can also use same 10 nanofarad or 103 capacitor here or you can use a polar capacitor which is 10 microfarad or you can use 10 nanofarad anything it just auto upload your code so you can see it's successfully done if you if you got any error comment me in the message i'll help you thanks for watching